I'm here in the Israel Museum, and uh, just up here is the hoard of tools and, uh, and weapons made of copper that were found at Monash. And here we have the most impressive part of this collection, which are these four giant spearheads, the largest one there upside down. This is the largest spearhead ever found in the land of the Bible. Here is on display um, more spearheads from the Bronze Age. These are typical spearheads. You know, they look maybe six inches long, seven, eight inches long at the most. Uh, we have a parallel of uh, these spearheads in the biblical text. If we go to uh, 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 16, we're introduced to this warrior and we're given his name. His name is Ishbi Benob. And then he's described specifically as one of the descendants of the giants whose spear weighed 300 shekels of bronze. Isn't that interesting? We're not given uh, his size and his weight, but we're given the weight of his spear. And it's talking about his entire spear. Now, if we take this, uh, the largest of the spear heads at Monash, uh, this spearhead alone, just the head is five pounds. But when it says seven pounds in the Bible, it's talking about also the entire spear. So you got to put the shaft on this. Imagine how big that shaft, that pole must have been on a spear this big. It would have been much taller than a man. It would have weighed at least two pounds. It would have weighed probably much more than that. This is probably a bigger spear, a heavier spear than the one that's described in 2 Samuel 21:16. And this article is, uh, is the authors write this, the spearheads bear signs of use, especially the heaviest, which is bent in one spot and worn in several places along the edges. Okay, so they're saying that, that these spears bear the evidence that they were used as spears.